for watching. My name is Trisha, and behind the camera is David from Living Tech. So I promised in an earlier video that I would uh, show you the ranch dressing that I like to use. Um, there's lots of different ways to make ranch dressing. This one's quite healthy. This is a uh, whole foods vegan, um, and uh, to me, it's not. It doesn't taste exactly what you might think of as a ranch dressing, but it's a really yummy, creamy. Uh, dressing and you can do lots of varieties on it as you'll be able to tell. So we'll start with the base. Um, I have a Vitamix which is a really strong blender which means that when I make uh, dressings like this, this is cashew based, um, nut based generally when I make things, I don't really need to suck, uh, soak the nuts because the blender is just crazy. Um, but if you have a regular blender, what I would recommend is um, just do all the same things, but if you can think about it, um, uh, throw the nuts and uh, water, even just the water from the recipe. Sometimes they'll say soak the nuts, throw out the water, use another amount of water. Um, then it really just makes it more watery, right, because it's soaked up all the water. So um, I would just take the water and the nuts from the recipe, throw them in the, few, the fridge a few hours ahead of when you want to do this, and then it'll be easier on your blender. It'll come out smoother because you want it to be smooth like a dress, uh, dressing. So um, this, count, this uh, recipe calls for half a cup of cashews, just raw cashews, um, and three quarters of a cup of water. Normally I wouldn't soak, but I, was, I knew I was going to do this, so um, I had them in the fridge already. So they're already together. And I do that, I do these ahead, um, I'll, I'll zap them, uh, just those things together because if I hadn't soaked them then I'd want to make sure that the nuts got really creamy before I added the other ingredients. So on a Vitamix, uh, there is, a, um, on the one that I have, and on uh, I think a few of them there's a picture of what you want to do, so I'm going to press, turn it on, and then I'm going to press the cream one. So this is just an automatic setting and your blender probably has one. I can see it's good enough. It looks like milk. It looks like cream. But it, otherwise you can just leave it to go for the whole set. Okay. Now, also if you're using a blender a lot, if you end up liking making these dressings, I recommend um, a spatula like this because it goes right down into the blender. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to get everything down in there. Just scrape it from the top, no point uh, missing out on those bits of nuts and everything. I'm going to start with the lemon juice, doesn't really matter the order, but just so that I keep track. So two, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Usually when you do these, the, the recipes will call for fresh lemon juice. I wouldn't get too fussed about the fresh versus the not fresh. You're doing really well, Whole Foods Vegan, if you're using lemon juice and there's no mayonnaise anywhere in sight. Like this is. This is great. So just use the lemon juice. If you have fresh, better. It will actually taste a little bit better, but it's not necessary. It will taste fresher. Now I'm going to do one tablespoon of olive oil. See, I'm using olive oil. If you were watching one of my other recipes when I did the stuffed peppers, I was talking about high heat capacity oils, which olive oils not one of them, but it, it tastes good, it has its own taste, so you can put it in uh, recipes that don't involve cooking, so that's what I'm doing. I pre-peeled I pre the garlic, if, um, if you're not that uh, garlic cool yet, I'll do another video where I show um, peeling the garlic, but I had time earlier, so I already peeled it. I'm just going to plop it in whole, um, not really any, anything to mess with there. I'm going to put um, two teaspoons of um, Dijon mustard. Tom says I'm a little bit more careful about the measurements, but still not perfect. I don't want to drive myself crazy. I'm cooking all the time. I just, things want to, I just want things to taste good, but it's not a five-star restaurant. It's a, yay, I made that. That was really delicious. So two teaspoons of Dijon. Um, so miso paste is something that's used a lot in vegan cooking. Um, adds a taste on a flavor wheel, which I could show you another time. 
um, uh, called Umami, and uh, it's a uh, sort of a it's its own it's its own thing like sour or sweet uh, or bitter. That's that's what this is. I'm just gonna I'll use my finger for this. Just a second. It's off. Okay. I use a new towel every time I cook, so I'm not worried that I'm getting this dirty. Okay, two teaspoons of this. No big deal, that wasn't perfect. There we go. Okay, and then this is onion powder. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of that. Don't need extra onion, so I'm gonna just make it level. I'm gonna use garlic powder. Same amount, one teaspoon. Oh, I didn't use my. You can get teaspoon measures that are the size to fit into jars. I don't remember to use mine, so I'll just go two halves instead. I usually buy the bulk. The bulk things because I go through them so much and I have wider mats on them. But if you have a normal, normal size, that's what happens. Okay, so that's the base. Uh, you could you could use it like that if you wanted to. That's just a base sort of creamy uh, ranch dressing. Um, for me, I'm making this right now to go with um, uh, stuffed bell peppers, um, which have uh, chili spicing in them. So I want this to have sort of a a little bit Mexican, so I'm going to add a chipotle um, in adobo sauce. You get these in a can, a small can like this, um, usually from your grocery store. Um, what I do is I use it once, like one is enough. This is uh, what you're seeing here, is um, after I use one pepper and a little bit of the sauce that's in the can in probably this recipe, I took the rest of it and I froze it in an ice cube tray one pepper per ice tray, I think it made five more, and then put evenly distributed the sauce. So now I've come to make this um, this dressing, and all I did was, I did thaw this this morning, though. So you, you probably want to thaw that if you're not using it straight from the can. So in goes this. That is an alternative to any other flavor that you wanted to make with the ranch dressing. So um, a, for me, my favorite one is dill. I just take a whole bunch of dill, and uh, throw it in, never too much dill. So uh, you can put in two, three tablespoons. I put in a handful, it's like green at the end. Um, you can put in uh, cilantro, you can put in uh, basil, you can put in what, whatever you want um, to go with the flavor of what you're doing. If you have cilantro in your recipe, or say um, the bell peppers that I'm cooking have cilantro as an optional topping, then do a different flavor in your dressing so that you get more you get more taste. Um, so I didn't really break it down. I told you I was going to tell you how to do all the different varieties. Basically, just make the base and then choose how you want to flavor it. Um, and and the the options are infinite. You could use you could use um, curry paste. You could use uh, chutney. You could use um, salsa. Like anything that you want to add that flavor, but in a creamy way. Like a not it's not going to taste like cheese but it's gonna give a creamy, fresh um, a sort of vehicle to get those flavors that you might otherwise need uh, cheese to deliver or to complement in a recipe. Um, so I'm just gonna whip that up. This makes a fair bit, probably enough for, if you're cooking for four to six people to use it as a, as a, top, a full topping for a dish. Um, if you want it around in the fridge uh, to be putting on Buddha bowls or um, even just, you know, rice and frozen vegetables or something um, just for a quick lunch. Um, it works well on salads too, um, can be uh, on roasted vegetables, anything, any of these sauces can go on any of those things. You'll fall in love with one or two of the sauces. This is one of my favorites. Um, so uh, then, then make more and keep it in the fridge uh, for you know, a week, and you'll find whether you go through it or not. I do. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on my blender and sign off, and I, oh, you know what? I'm going to wait and um, uh, let you see what it looks like.